uh, you mentioned climate change is really complex challenge. I fully agree. It's very complex, and you already touched upon many topics today, just in a couple of minutes. You know, technology, innovation, uh, social justice. Uh, we call it now climate justice mainly. Uh, decision making. You know, role of uh, governments, role of youth. Everybody, everyone wanna have a voice. Everyone, of course, wanna see that, uh, and there is some impact of the action. All c- call for climate action. But at the end, um, we still feel that it's not accelerated enough to make a real impact in a very short term time because uh, clock is ticking and the planet, is planet environment is changing. And I, I feel like we are always putting a human being in the center of our discussions. And I think sometimes we should change the perspective and look at our planet. planet. And as Dennis mentioned and Pope mentioned, uh, this is our home. And we should not forget, because we consider our home as the four walls, we live each and every day, you know, with our families. But the world around is changing, and we still like demand the same consumption, the same electricity amount. But the, I feel that the policymakers are mainly, you know, responding to their voters to simply satisfy their needs and um, making quite unsystemic, not sustainable solutions or, de- or decisions. But I think, of course, we need to find short-term solutions, but also look long-term. And we speak about climate change as a challenge, but I see it as an opportunity. Opportunity to rethink our ways of behavior, as you mentioned. And I think it always become, you know, comes back to us as uh, individuals. And, but also how, how we have an impact in our small environment, in our small bubble, in our ecosystem we live. But really also when... For example, within our projects, uh, we focus now on biodiversity loss. And when s- we see the, the enthusiasm of young uh, people and youth who are traveling around the world and capturing, uh, collecting data about what's going on uh, with biodiversity loss, how many sus- you know, species are lost annually because of human interventions as well. It's, it's not the only one, but humans play a huge role in, in this. So as I said, we should also sometimes put in the center our planet, and nature, and our environment we live in and try to reconnect. So um, I think it's not just about innovation technology, but about understanding uh, the impact of our acting. And also uh, I feel that, and this is my question towards you, um, I have impression that the policymakers mainly focus on mitigation measures, but the adaptation is still a bit lacking because to adapt to what will come and to prevent uh, also what, you know, the, the disaster which will come, it's quite key. And uh, having discussions and dialogue with Global South uh, policymakers, but experts as well, they always say, you know, <laughs> it's, it's uh, always a disaster which mobilizes people to act and change things. But do we need to wait for disaster? Or is it then a challenge owner, a charismatic politician, who finally, you know, takes it as his own challenge and goes for it and make a system, systemic transformation and change. But not, it's not always the case. So we should avoid disaster. We don't need to count, we cannot count that every time there is a charismatic leader, but more we should, again, focus on long-term strategic approach and create policies and, you know, which will support sustainable development and really plan from scratch scenarios, as Dennis mentioned, bring some case studies in close collaboration with different stakeholders. That's why, <laughs> again, promoting multi-stakeholder approach in this kind of crisis and emergency moments where if you want to really build something sustainable, you can make it disconnected because in nature everything is connected. and We are part of the nature. We are not above the nature. And I think this is also sometimes misread from also especially Christian uh, world that the human is actually the one, you know, who is governing and uh, overlooking around all the species about what's around us. And me also studying a theology and philosophy a long time ago, I always came to this point when they said, yeah, okay, it's not the human who is in the center. Um, we should not forget it. We are just, you know, one world 